think there's something about hair and how um, terrifically accurate hair sort of creates the environment or recreates the environment of the 60s, which is what's thrilling for either people who've lived through it or people who sort of have a romantic notion of it. I think the show really stands for freedom. And whether it's freedom of expression or freedom of your body, freedom of your mind, and that's really what the hippie ideal was. There is that universal theme that, that you get from, from any great work of theater, uh, where you have characters in a specific time and place, but they, you find what is universally human about them. And in hair, the, the dualities are extreme because the conditions where these people live are so extreme. There's a character named Claude Bukowski who is part of this tribe, this hippie tribe. And this is the era of drafts for Viet the Vietnam War. And they've all agreed to burn their draft cards and avoid the draft. And um, there's a piece of Claude that is sort of duty bound and traditional. He is a, he's a confused, conflicted dude. He, uh, all of his friends are urging him to, to burn his draft card and, and be done with the entire thing, but he's, he's unsure about what he's exactly gonna do. They're all, it's a family, you know, it's sort of a street family, and Berger's kind of the dad, um, and a bit of a cult of personality in the group. Um, he's the strong one, he's probably a little bit older, um, and he has a lot of reasons why he needs this group around him. Berger's influence on the people around him is is one that's not altogether good. Sheila is this um, very smart woman with strong convictions, but sort of gets caught in the mess of a, a little love triangle of she and Berger and Claude. She's protesting the war and being a hippie and loving life. Um, and then there's, you know, there's Wolf, who's everybody's little brother, and he's just having a ball experimenting and discovering who he is. And, and there's Chrissy, who's the youngest of the tribe and, and um, you know, trying hard not to be a, a little kid among these people. And there's um, Jeannie, who's pregnant by she's not sure who. Um, it's just a, it's an incredible mix of characters who are just struggling to live in the most joyful way they can, given the circumstances. message about like anti-war and just about being something that different than society and going against what people expect you to be and want you to be. Oh I know you, you think is look dear isn't that a cute one right and you're gonna go <laughs> and um <laughs> people really enjoy performing the show and I and it's a it's a show that's really easy to get into you start working with other actors and you create this tribe you create this family and it's a lot of fun, and if you do it right, um, that translates to the audience. I, I love the music, and uh, my dad was encouraging me to try out, and I was like, you know, I'll just, I'll just try it, and you know, we'll see what happens. But it's, I'm glad I did. It's been really fun so far. Yeah, and you can um, at the end too. Yeah. You know, the kids in the cast, they don't see their brothers or their neighbors' kids getting drafted like it would have happened back then. But there's certainly an unpopular war going on. There's certainly been a call for change going on, which is a lot of what this show is. We want change, we don't want the same old, same old. Um, so I think that there's a lot of the same ideals and idealism that's there. And, and I hope that they can see that even though it's a period piece and it's from 1969, that it still resonates even for them, and they do get something out of it, that we can still overcome adversity, that we can bond together and, and create something more wonderful than what we're used to. Um, and that we are, that freedom of expression is paramount in making life wonderful. Come see it.